What is up guys, Zillin here from Craft. Today we're going to be explaining the differences between horsepower, brake horsepower and wheel horsepower. Start off horsepower, it's basically just a measure of power really, units of the measure of power. Uh, but I'll get more into that a little bit later on. Uh, brake horsepower is now the horsepower measured at the engine's crank, so it's the true horsepower of the engine. Car manufacturers usually always give you the brake horsepower of an engine because there's more of it. Uh, now, wheel horsepower is the horsepower me measured at the wheels of the vehicle, which is measured on a dyno. Uh, there's always a loss in power because the power has to go through the drivetrain, so the transmission, the drive shaft, differential side shafts, hubs, and wheels themselves. So on a rear wheel drive car, it's usually about 15% power loss from the coming from the engine to the wheels. And on a four wheel drive car, because there's more rotating parts, uh, it's about 20 to 25% of power loss. Now getting more into horsepower, Horsepower is also used as brake horsepower. So like a lot of car guys, including myself, we use horsepower as the horsepower measured at, at the crank and then wheel horsepower as horsepower measured at the wheels. But then you'll get a few odd jobs that use horsepower as the horsepower measured at the wheels. So they use brake horsepower and horsepower, whereas we use horsepower and wheel horsepower. I hope that this video helps you guys out. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that. Uh, so yeah, uh, like this video if you like it, subscribe to my channel and check out some of my older videos. I'll put the links to some of them in the description down below. Peace!